Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood. Uh, this is a collaboration that Jill started to put aside a little bit of time for herself to create and then share her projects on Saturday. If you're wanting to join, all you have to do is create something, whether it be paper crafting, uh, yarn, painting, beading, whatever it is that you do. If you make a project and you come over here and share it in a YouTube uh, video, if you don't do videos, you can share it on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, wherever you want to post it. Just put hashtag SatMornMakes and the hashtag will be in the description box. You can copy and paste it. And um, yeah, just use that hashtag so we can come over and see um, your projects. So uh, let me get started uh, sharing real quick what I used. Um, for stamps this week, I decided to use the Tracy Hay Hampton Art Stamps. I love these stamps. I've just been collecting them and I figured today was the day um, um, to use them. So the first one I used was this one here. I don't know if they have names. It just says Tracy, Tracy Hay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has a name. Um, but I used this one. So cute. And I used every single one of those images. And then I used uh, the Flamingos. And then I used the elephants, which I colored these up, but I didn't use them this time around. But I did use this one here. Okay, aren't they cute? They're so cute, these Tracy Hay Hampton Arch stamps. There's a lion. They have it at um, Hobby Lobby. I want to get that next. Um, okay, so paper pads. I used Echo Park um, Best Summer. I used some of the Honey Bee, the new um, ones that I just got. This is a Galore Spring gingham patterns and if you guys didn't go over and check honeybees has a sale right now uh most of their paper pads are 250 um their shipping is a little high so you know you have to order enough to make the shipping worth it um for me i got like i did a video and shared what i picked up but i picked up like 14 pads at 250 um and then the shipping i think was 11 dollars. So yeah the shipping is a little high but um you know, if you if the pads are two fifty, you got to make it worth it. So, all right, I use this paper studio. Um, this one is called Bright Vintage, and this is from Hobby Lobby. And I use this pattern right up here. Wait till you see that card. I'm in love with it. Um, I use this um, EK Success. No, this is Stampin' Up. The Stampin' Up Balloons Punch. Okay. I use this Martha Stewart Edge Punch on one of the cards. I use these two stamps. Happy birthday. Now, I didn't have that many happy birthday uh, cards in my stash, so I decided I was going to make most of the cards I made today. Um, happy birthday. I use Gina Marie Cross Stitch Nesting Set Rectangles. This is um, Today Decor Store. I think this was off of Allie. And I, got, I used this one. Um, this is an MFT. I use this one. Gina Marie uh, cross stitch circles I used. This is Stitch Basic Edges. Um, I think, I'm not sure what company this is, but I use those. And then this was a Spellbinders. And I used, um, I think I used the Happy Birthday from this set. This was recently in, um, marked down at uh, Hobby Lobby. So I picked that up and I used that, okay? And then I used uh, some stencils. Um, I have some stars here. I have these little hearts. And then I used this one, the bubbles. And then I used this for the first time. Gigi had gifted this to me. Um, and this is really good. It holds your paper and your stencils down so you can use your oxide because I use oxide inks. This is a Ranger. Um, Wendy Valici, Make Art. And these magnets really hold down your paper and your stencil so you can get a good uh, coverage. So thank you, Gigi, for gifting that to me in a happy mail. But I used that for the first time, and I was so happy the way it, uh, you know, the way it came out. Okay, I'm going to move all this stuff, you guys. Ugh. All right. So we're going to start off, and I'm going to show you this card here that I made. And this is a birthday. And then I use some of my, um, I have these little stamps from Stampin' Up that make backgrounds. And this one had hearts. So I use the little hearts around the little elephant. 
here's that die um the circles the two different sets i used the scalloped edge one here and then i had this one um, from the gina marie set and i put that on the inside of that i used some balloon paper color with copics and then here's the inside and then there's my signature but aren't they cute oh my god those images you guys are just so darling i love them okay so here's the next one and also a birthday card here's where i use the martha stewart edge punch on this piece here i use some twine and i put this little flower here and then if you can see the background this was oxide ink i used the two different colors and I used that heart stencil I had, and it made those little marks and gave me that background. And then the happy birthday, this was the spell binders. I cut it out three times, put it on top of each other, and then glossy accent it. I put a little green heart for the eye, for the dot at the eye. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I love the way um, it turns out when you do that with um, the sentiment when you pile it on and make th make it thick and then put the glossy accents, it just really comes out and it makes the card look really nice. And that technique I learned from Sybil B. Hi, Sybil, if you're watching. Um, and then here's the inside, just plain inside. And then, of course, my signature. So that's the second one. Those cute little elephants. Oh, my gosh. And then here's another one. And there's another little elephant. And this is where I use the balloons. I also use the edge die on this one. And I use the stencil with the bubbles on this one with, with oxide inks. The elephant's color with Copics. And then I put some stitchings, uh, stitching lines in with my um, um, tracer, tracer wheel. I don't know if you can see the little stitching. I put little stitching all the way around it. And then here's the inside. So cute. I put that little happy birthday, this this one, and I put it right in the biggest balloon on the card. I thought that was really cute like that. And I have the strings down behind him, like if he's holding his hand, the strings in there. And I just kind of put the balloons together. The green one had a little mark on it and I couldn't get it off, so I glittered that balloon. So that's the next card. And aren't those elephants just the cutest? Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so here's the little mouse. I think this is one of my favorites. I think the flamingos might be my favorite favorite, but this one is so cute. And on this one, I use the Distress Oxides, and then I use Stickles Over the Stars. Color with Copics, I put some stickles on the heart on his little outfit. There's that happy birthday again. Little pink bow from uh, Paper Studios at Hobby Lobby. And I used the tracing wheel on this one as well. And then that's the inside. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, that little mouse. He's so cute. I just love him. I need to make another card. Um, I don't know if you guys know, uh, uh, Nancy Martinez is having a really hard time. And she came on and announced um, on her videos uh, what's going on. So it's not like I... You know, I'm not telling you something you can go over and watch her channel and find out. Um, but, uh, yeah, she's been having a really hard time. If you guys can keep her in your prayers, I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so, and I'll leave the link down below to her channel. If you guys want to go over and watch the video, she t she tells you in the video um, what's happening with her um, right now. So, um, here's the flamingo one. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh, I'm in love. And it says, let's flamingo. And then in the inside, it says, you are fabulous. Remember that. That paper from um, Hobby Lobby went perfect. I mean, it really went perfect with this um, Flamingos, that paper right there. I just think it came out so cute. Um, I didn't search very long for the paper. When I saw it, I knew immediately that that's what I wanted to use. And then here's the little, um, in the set... They have this little heart um, spray, and I put those all over the card, and then I stickled everything. So it's, like, really sparkly. So cute, right? So I think the mouse and the flamingos may be, um, one, like, two of my favorites. And then, I mean, I love them all, but then there's another one here. I have one more, 
and the stickles were still wet and that's why I left it for last but this is my favorite color and this is where I use the elephant isn't it cute and the stickles like I said the stickles on the stars are still wet they're drying happy birthday there's another one of those paper studio uh, Hobby Lobby bows they have these bows and I get them when they do the 40% off or 50% off paper studio items they have them in teal pink white black burlap teal pink white black burlap I think that was it but I love them they're really they're perfect size for cards and um, I use them all the time but there's the little elephant isn't it cute oh my gosh and then there's the inside and of course then my signature on the back so those are my cards I have to share with you guys this Saturday. I've been really busy um, getting these cards done. I love every single one of them. <laughs> and um, in the middle of the week, I'm going to try to get another project done. I want to make, um, I want to use the telephone die that I just recently picked up from uh, Scrap Diva's shop. I think that uh, die is so super cute and I want to make some shakers with that. So if I get those done, I'll come um, back during the week to share those with you. Um, and then we'll figure out something else to do for next um, next Saturday morning makes. But I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoy seeing all my cards that I created. And um, I hope you got some crafty time in for yourself as well. And I'd love to see what everybody is creating. I try to go over and watch all the, uh, I put in the hashtag when the videos pop up. I try to watch everybody Saturday morning makes. I mean, I'm sure I don't watch every single one of them because there are so many of us um, people out there, crafters, artists that are just joining this collaboration. It's been going on for, God, two years um, it's just so much fun to actually just relax, create something, and then share it with everybody. Um, and I'm so thankful and grateful for Jill Norwood for starting this collaboration. Um, so, yeah. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.